happening at United Park. A rip-roaring contentious cup tie in Drogheda with Derry. Cup winners back in 2012, getting an early chance as Rory Patterson set up Michael Duffy, whose shot was just wide. And he then questioned why the referee Derek Tomney had pulled back the play for a foul. Later in the half, the visitors went even closer to scoring when Stephen Dooley picked out Patrick McElhenney. His first cross was cleared, but the Derry number 10 did well to deliver a second telling ball. Philip Lowry's shot was blocked, and Patterson then hit the post. From a corner, however, it was Derry who opened the scoring on 13 minutes. Barry McNamee found Patrick McElhenney with the ball in and around the back. McElhenney's cross was deflected straight to Ryan McBride and he left-footed Derry in front. McElhenney then turned provider for Derry's next chance as Michael Duffy drove in a shot, which Michael Slingerman couldn't hold, but he was able to grasp the ball at the second attempt. But for all Derry's possession, it was Drogheda who equalised from a corner on 23 minutes. Alan McNally's header was stopped on the line, but a combination of McNally and Gary O'Neill forced the ball over the line and 1-1. The goal put a pep on the home side step and O'Neill's pass found Gavin Houlihan, who miscontrolled, and the ball fell for Peter McGlynn, whose shot was blocked, before bouncing narrowly wide. McGlynn, though, didn't last much longer on the pitch as he was sent off on 32 minutes. Dean Jarvis and McGlynn battled for the ball deep in the dairy half of the pitch. Jarvis knocked the ball past McGlynn. McGlynn responded with the two-footed challenge and he was immediately shown a straight red card by referee Tomney. McGlynn couldn't believe it, but he had to go for this two-footed challenge. At least he got a consolation pat on the back from his manager Damien Richardson as he left the pitch. Now cue the second sending off, and it came from a Drogheda attack on 47 minutes as United captain Shane Grimes attempted a cross. He claimed a corner which wasn't given. And Grimes allegedly must have said something to the referee who blew his whistle and then showed a straight red card to the Drogheda United captain. Drogheda now down to nine players. Amazingly, though, on 52 minutes and two players short, United hit the front. A free kick was headed to the net by defender McDaly. 2-1 now to Drogheda. With the superior numbers at their disposal, Derry went in search of the equaliser and they should really have got it when Dooley laid the ball on the plate for Patterson, who shot straight at Slingham into the home goal. Derry then couldn't profit from the loose ball, despite the best efforts of Patrick McElhenney, who tried to set up Barry McNamee in the United area, but the ball was cleared. Derry chased forward in their attempts to level up the contest, and Duffy's pass into the United area caused problems. McElhenney then waited and waited before supplying the pass to Dooley. He found Duffy with the pass back into the area, and Slingerman made a magnificent one-handed save to deny Duffy. Rory Patterson then got a chance when he got a free header from a free kick, but he couldn't get the ball on target. Eventually, though, the defensive dam was breached on 84 minutes. Another Derry free kick, the ball fell kindly for Philip Lowry, and his deflected shot found the back of the net. Lowry anxious to get the game restarted in the hope of Derry getting a winner. Then, amazingly, a third sending off for Drogheda. Gavin Houlihan got in a tangle with Lowry, he gave away the free kick, not to his liking, and in his frustration he kicked the ball away. He first got a yellow, and then, having already been booked, Hulam was shown a red, and Drogheda, amazingly, were now down to eight players. But the eight of Drogheda managed to hang on and take the game to a replay. Inevitably, Derry finished the game stronger, but they couldn't find the net late on. They had chances in this late, late scramble. Josh Tracy, the substitute with a deflected shot, with Slingerman saved, to finish 2-2, and the game goes to a replay at the Brandywell tomorrow night. Uh, I actually thought when we were 2-1 up, even with 10 men, 9 men, I thought we were going to do it. Um, because I know how difficult it is to play against 10 men, then to play against 9 men, and Derry found it hard because... They're not used to such circumstances. So all in all, I, I'm delighted with the players. There was a wonderful effort on their part. And uh, we'll go for, for the game on Tuesday and, and see, can we repeat the process? To be fair to the players, they kept their composure. They kept sort of trying to create an opening. 
it's very tight uh, pitch, compact pitch, and when Drogheda, to be fair, them battled for their lives and parked the bus, and, and Surah were settling for the try and obviously hold out. Uh, it made it even been more difficult. But uh, to be fair, they kept plugging away and created chances. We just unfortunately were rash, lacked a wee bit of composure in, in round the, the box. But uh, as I say, just delighted to get for one of those chances to go in.